नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एंड लाइट द नेम टेक्स्ट 3 टेक्स्ट 4 टेक्स्ट 5 एंड टेक्स्ट 6 ऑफ चैप्टर 2 कंटेंट्स ऑफ द गीता समराइज ऑफ श्रीमद् भगवत गीता टेक्स्ट 3 क्लैप्यम मस्म गमम पार्थो नैतात वै उपपद्यते शुद्रम हृदय दौरपल्यम त्यक्तोत्तिस्थ परंतप ओ सन ऑफ पृथा डू नॉट ईड टू दिस डिग्रेडिंग इंपोर्टेंस इट डज नॉट बिकम यू गिव अप सच पेटी वीकनेस ऑफ हार्ट एंड अराइज ओ चास्टिजर ऑफ द एनिमी Arjun was addressed as the son of Pritha who happened to be the sister of Krishna's father Vasudev. Therefore Arjun had a blood relationship with Krishna. If the son of a Kshatriya declines to fight, he is a Kshatriya in name only and if the son of a Brahman acts impiously, he is a Brahman in name only. Such Kshatriyas and Brahmanas are unworthy sons of their fathers. Therefore Krishna did not want Arjun to become an unworthy son of a Kshatriya. Arjun was the most intimate friend of Krishna and Krishna was directly guiding him on the chariot but in spite of all these credits if Arjun abandoned the battle he would be committing an infamous act therefore Krishna said that such an attitude in Arjun did not fit his personality Arjun might argue that he would give up the battle on the grounds of his magnanimous attitude for the most respectable Bhishma and his relatives but Krishna considered that sort of magnanimity mere weakness of heart such false magnanimity was not approved by any authority. Therefore, such magnanimity of the so-called non-violence should be given up by persons like Arjun under the direct guidance of Krishna. Text 4. Arjuna Uvacha Katham Bhishma Aham Samthe Dronamcha Madhusudana Isu Bhiha Pratiyot Syami Pujar Hava Ari Sudana Arjun said, O killer of enemies, O killer of Madhu, how can I counter attack with arrows and metal men like Bhishma and Dron who are worthy of my worship? Respectable superiors like Bhishma, the grandfather, and Dronacharya, the teacher, are always worshipable. Even if they attack, they should not be counter attacked. It is general etiquette that superiors are not to be offered even a verbal fight. Even if they are sometimes harsh in behavior, they should not be harshly treated. Then, how is it possible for Arjun to counter-attack them? Would Krishna ever attack his own grandfather Ugrasen or his teacher Sandipani Muni? These were some of the arguments offered by Arjun to Krishna. Text 5. Gurun Ahatva Hi Mahanu Bhavan Shreyo Bhoktam Bhaiksyam Apiha Loke Hatvartha Kamams Tu Gurun E Haiva Bhunjiya Bhogan Rudhira Pradigdhan It would be better to live in this world by begging than to live at the costs of the lives of great souls who are my teachers. Even though desiring worldly gain, they are superiors. If they are killed, everything we enjoy will be tainted with blood. According to scriptural quotes, a teacher who engages in an abominable action and has lost his sense of discrimination is fit to be abandoned. Bhishma and Drona were obliged to take the side of Duryodhan because of his financial assistance. Although they should not have accepted such a position simply on financial considerations. Under the circumstances, they have lost the respectability of teachers. But Arjun thinks that nevertheless they remain his superiors and therefore to enjoy material profits after killing them would mean to enjoy spoils Tainted with blood. Text 6. Na kaitar vid maha kataran no gariyo yada va jayama yadi va no jaya yuha yana eva hatva na jija visa masa te avasthitaha pramukhe dhritarashtraha. Nor do we know. Which is better, conquering them or being conquered by them? If we killed the sons of Dhritarashtra, we should not care to live. Yet they are now standing before us on the battlefield. Arjun did not know whether he should fight and risk unnecessary violence, although fighting is the duty of the Kshatriyas, or whether he should refrain and live by begging. If he did not conquer the enemy, begging would be his only means of subsistence, nor was their certainty of victory 
because either side might emerge victorious. Even if victory awaited them and this cause was justified, still if the sons of Dhritarashtra died in battle, it would be very difficult to live in their absence. Under the circumstances, that would be another kind of defeat for them. All these considerations by Arjun definitely prove that not only was he a great devotee of the Lord, but he was also highly enlightened and had complete control over his mind and senses. His desire to live by begging, although he was born in the royal family, is another sign of detachment. He was truly virtuous. As these qualities combined with his faith in the words of instructions of Sri Krishna, his spiritual master, indicate. It is concluded that Arjun was quite fit for liberation. Unless the senses are controlled, there is no chance of elevation to the platform of knowledge and without knowledge and devotion, there is no chance of liberation. Arjun was competent in all these attributes over and above his enormous attributes in his material relationships. Hare Krishna!